Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and I'm very excited today because we have a very special guest today. This is Charles Jamison, and he is a author, and he just came out with a wonderful book that he's going to tell you about. Now, I'm going to let him tell you um, his story and how he got started and what motivated him to write the book, and he's going to tell you a little about the book and where you can find the book, but it's um, uh, an amazing story that he has to share, and you really need to let the world know about him and what he's gone through in life and all the obstacles he endured and overcame and he wrote this wonderful book and this wonderful story that he is going to share with you and the rest of the world. So Charles, tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do. Hi, I'm Charles. I'm 18 years old. I'm from New Jersey. I uh, have a high function level of autism and I like to create stuff. I like to make books, music, arts, you know. I like to make all of this stuff because I think my purpose in life is to, you know, put myself out there and, you know, have something for people to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, I feel like, like, 20 years from now, a lot of people are going to be liking this stuff. Now, when you've gone through the, the autism in your childhood years and up until now, how, did, it, did it feel hard growing up as a child with a disability? Did you, did you struggle a lot and go through different types of obstacles that you endured? Yes, it was, uh, it was hard for me at times because I was a slow learner. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to keep up with the other kids was hard for me, so the teachers had to... Uh, you had to assist me more, right? But, you know, as I got older, you know, I I, I was uh, picking up on my social skills and uh, multiplication and all that. So what motivated you not to give up? So many people that have a disability, a lot of people tend to want to just give up and not move forward. Some people will shut down and they will just, you know, exclude themselves from the rest of the world. Other people will just, you know, feel stuck in life. And a lot of people, it, it affects their self-esteem and their self-worth. What made you want to keep moving and pursue your goals in life? I have to give credit to my mom because, like, my mom helped me, uh, to, you know, get through all the, the, the trials and tribulations. She motivated me to not let my disability be uh, to be a disadvantage, but an advantage that we use. Now, when you've gone through this. Um, you wanted, you said that you want, you wrote a book recently and you focused, um, this has been a dream of yours ever since you were younger to write this book. Now, can you tell us a little about this book and why it is so, so important? Um, because you know, you, you had this goal to write this book. What, why was it so important for you to write this book? It was important to me to write the book because I wanted to make an impact on the world. I really wanted a story that people were well, people were missing out on. You know, all there are all these um, um, movies and shows that aren't really giving what the people need. You know, a good story. I feel like I have that. Now, can you tell us a little about the book? So the book is a coming of age story. It's a, we follow a, a teenager, well, a teenager from uh, the Bronx, and he is the son of an urban legend, a street racer. And ever since then, after finding out that he uh, is in love with the street racing and wants to become one. Mm -hmm. but, his family doesn't want him to pursue it because of, uh, uh, because of dangerous circumstances that come with the, the street racing. Now, um, 
you have, uh, how long did it take you to read this, make, write this book? Because, you know, for some people, you know, they, they, it, they, it takes years for them to write a book. And for you, um, how much energy did you put into writing this book? Because you, you thought about it for years. Was it easy for you to just put the, these words on paper? Or did you really have to think about it and really put, you know, a lot of creative energy into it? In the beginning years, when I was 12, you know, I wanted to write it, but the story and the idea kept changing. When I hit 16, I went to a, a, a writing class, and the project was to make a story. And, you know, I made this story. And mm -hmm. I, you know, had a bunch of names and everything. I wanted to expand on that. And it, it just became a whole novel. Originally, it was like 10 chapters, but like I split it up into two books. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, but I had to uh, I had to drop it for a while because, you know, other, other things to take care of. But last year, I went back to it and edited it all, make sure it was um, all polished and everything, all the right. grammar was in it. And uh, yeah, I decided to publish it in October. That's wonderful. Now, having um, autism, was it was it hard for you to put together this project? Because sometimes our disabilities, because I have epilepsy, <laughs> sometimes our disabilities can get in the way. But, you know, there are, are ways and there's things that we do to help ourselves get over the hump. Now, for you, was there certain things that you did um, if it was difficult? You know, was it difficult at, to, to write the book, at, at having autism? I case I don't think so because like if I this this story I'm passionate about. So when I started writing, I just kept writing and writing and writing and typing. I just uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't a challenge for me because you know I you know, I draw characters, I I create stories for them. It's, it it comes natural to me. That's great. Now, what is your true purpose in life? Because you really have a passion for writing. Is there a special message that you want to get across to people? Or do you just want to, you know, entertain people? Or is there an underlying message that you really want to, you know, get across? I, I, I just want to entertain people. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, you've been writing for how many years now? Since you took uh, that class? Is that when I you got serious? The, I think since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because before this story, it, it was a long Old West story. Mm -hmm. it was, it's very convoluted. And during COVID, was there anything that inspired you to write, or is it because you were in the house and you were just starting to get a lot of ideas, you know, because you were confined in your house and we had lockdown and everything? Well, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It was because of that. Now, you know, what um, types of uh, feedback have you been getting on your book? We've been getting a lot of good reception, you know. Um, um, actual street racers like it, you know. Uh, there's like a few in our area. Yeah. They really liked it. They're, they're, they offered me. One of them works in the radio. They offered me to go on the, on the radio show. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they also offered me to ride in one of their hot rods too. That was very cool that's really awesome now are you thinking about maybe writing a series of um, books related to this or are you going to maybe continue to write but on different have different stories i mean i i finished the sequel for this uh last uh, last week mm -hmm. i do i do plan to make other stories not related mm -hmm. to celerity Right. So you classify this, this would be more like a, um, a fiction book? Yeah, fiction. I took a lot of liberties. 
you know, sometimes when people write fiction books, they, they take little things that happen in their lives and they change it up a little, different names, different characters. They may change up the story a little bit. Did you take anything from your own life and kind of add it in there? I got, there's this one character that has the same passion as me uh, with the illustrating. I think it's really exciting that, you know, um, you, you overcame all these struggles in life and now you're really focusing on your dream. You had a dream and you made that dream a reality. And now you're pursuing that dream, which is writing. And you've written your first book, which is a huge accomplishment. You know, and many people, you know, always say, I, I want to write a book, I want to write a book. But not many people actually get to do it because they either don't know how or it's a lot of work, it's overwhelming for them. But having a disability, having autism didn't stop you. You know, that shows a lot of perseverance on your part. It shows how strong you are and how resilient you are. And, you know, you continue to follow your dream which is amazing and i give you a lot of credit for that now you um are you thinking of maybe now this book had just launched you said it just came out yep so you said that you have you have the book right now it's available on lulu.com and is probably going to be available very shortly in amazon and barnes and nobles and a lot of other bookstores because um, it's in distribution, so it has. It'll be in all different types of bookstores. People will be able to find it. Correct? Absolutely. That's wonderful. And you know, um, what is your goal? Like, what you know, you said you want to entertain people, but is there, um, is there any, you know, it, what's your your true passion, your true goal in life? You know, to, because you you're on this path of writing, entertaining, creating. Is there any specific goals in life that you want to accomplish? I would really like to turn this into a movie. That yeah, would be yeah, exciting. Yeah. That would be a, a lot of these. I mean, a lot of these um books could turn into movies, and uh, I've been looking into. It. I think I can do it. I think you could do it too. I think you could do it too. Now, for people out there that want to write a book, but they're, they don't know how, or they're afraid to, or they're uh, unsure, do you have any advice for those people out there who, who really wanted to, you know, have, have to, you know, pursue this, but they, they weren't sure, either they weren't sure they were able to, maybe they weren't good enough, or maybe it'll be too hard for them. Since you're, you've accomplished this already, and, and you've gotten this far in life, you know, at a, such a young age, what advice do you have to people who have the dream of one day writing a book? Are there any advice you can give to those people? Well, I would say start small. You know, if, it, if it's a, like a fiction story, you know, have a name, right? And you have to find out stuff about that name. Like where are they from? What's their family? Where do they live? You know, things that you can expand on and make it more um cinematic mm -hmm. is, that, is that the right one? yes yeah because the, you know that's how i did it you know and uh, i can if you can visualize it in your head you know then then you know that's a good story right right very true very true and is is there from everything that we talked about, is there anything that you really like to, you know, make people understand? And, you know, we've talked about your disability. We talked about how you actually had a, a dream to do this since you were a young child. And, you know, no matter what obstacles you went in life, you had in life, you just pursued that dream, you know, which you always liked to write and you always wanted to write a book and you liked the storytelling. So, you know, um, is there anything like any any takeaways that you want people to know? Because I think you know when I listen to you talk, what makes me you know comes to my heart is that you you just didn't let anything in life stop you. You had a, a goal, you had a dream, and you pursued it, which I think is amazing. You know, and now you've accomplished that dream, and now you have a future ahead of you, and uh, who knows what's in store? You know, or you know, do you? Do you think that you'll be writing your next book soon, starting your next book? 
Yes, I think I will. I'm, I'm a little burnt out from uh, um, finishing the sequel, but yes, yeah. I think I will. It's, you know, writing books is a lot of work. It's, it can be very, um, it can be very uh, draining and people don't realize how draining it could be because by the time you, you write a book, then you have to edit the book, then you end up changing things around. It does suck out a lot of energy, but it's a great accomplishment. And, you know, stories, you know, can really touch people's hearts in many ways. And sometimes you don't even realize how powerful stories can be and how they can have an impact on people's lives. So, you know, and, and before we go, is there anything that you'd like to tell the audience that you think would really have an impact on their lives today? Well, let me say this. When I was younger, when I was diagnosed, right, the doctors told my mom that I wouldn't be able to pass the second grade. And, you know, Last year, I proved them all wrong because I got my high school diploma. I shook the, the mayor of my town's hand, <laughs> and I had I was accepted into uh, college, but you know I didn't go because um, you know I, I I don't have a reason to. Mm -hmm. But I said I say that because don't let any, anybody tell you what you can and can't. Right. I like that. I think that's great. You know, and I, I like that because so many times, you know, people will voice out an opinion. They'll say things to discourage somebody. But you know what? Anything is possible if you believe in yourself. I really do yeah. think that. Now, if people wanted to get in contact with you, where would they go to get in contact with you? Well, I think... Um... I think my email is best. Okay. And what's your email address? Oh, uh, DJFoxD77. Okay. Is that a Gmail account? Yes, that's a Gmail. Okay. And are you on social media? Uh, yes. Where, can people find you on social media if they look for you? What kind of social media can they find you on? Yeah, they can find me on Instagram. And what's your Instagram name? Uh, what is it called? This time. Um, you know what? Movies? I could put that in the I could put that in the description later on. You know, you can give it to me, and we could put it in the description later on. And um, yeah. could you, you want to show everybody? You want to grab that book in back of you and just show everybody what it looks like so they could see it. The ones that are looking at the video. I think that's a great book. That is amazing. That is totally amazing. And that's just the first sequel. So there's two sequels to that book, everybody. So that's series one, and then there'll be a series two also. But this is amazing. Oh, no, there's, no, there's only, oh, no, only going to be two books, you know, this one and the other one. Right, you don't wanna... exactly. It'll be the series, did you... series one and two. Before we go, did you want to see, like, three pieces of my art? I would love to, yes. Yeah, all right. So, we got this right here. Wow, that is awesome. I love it. I love it. There we go. Wow. You draw really well. There's also these big ones on the ceiling right here. That's pretty amazing. Oh, wow. So you have a lot of artwork that you do. Yep. Whole, whole full suitcase. Oh, wow. My favorite. It's right there. Maybe you should. Oh, I like that one. Maybe you should think about doing maybe a children's book. Yeah, you know, everybody's saying that. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's telling me that. Yeah, I wrote a children's book, and uh, it did really well. I started out with just using my own imagery, you know, and then later on I had I had someone else, you know, 
fix it up for me. But my first, my first children's book, I, I did the illustrations myself, you know, and uh, I think you, you, you have great talent right there. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, is there anything else you'd like to share with the listeners before we go? Uh, well, no, I don't think I have anything else. You know, I think I talked about everything that you know needs to be said. And, uh, yeah, just have and, and everybody remember that um, Charles's book is on lulu.com. So that's l u l u dot com, and the author's name is Charles Jameson, and you can find his book on lulu.com and we'll have the name of the title and the um the link where to go to purchase his book Jane, charles this has been wonderful this has been amazing thank you so much for coming on the show it's been a, a great time and thank you so much for sharing about your book about your story and you know and i wish you the best of luck in the future and you you've come a long way and you, you know i think you know right now I think everybody has to realize that no matter what you're going through in life, no matter you know what obstacles we have, that you could accomplish all your dreams. You know, if you have a dream, you could make it a reality, and you're proof of that. You know, and I commend you for that. Thank you. You're very welcome. You have a great day, Charles. You too. <laughs>